and welcome back to 25 days of K-dramas, day 16. And today's is actually a very special one because it's kind of a hidden gem, not really talked about that much, but I want to talk about it. And that is Chicago Typewriter or Chicago Tajaki. So this one is a very interesting one because it keeps jumping between the past and the present. And the essence of it is that there is some supernatural activity going on in this one in the form of a ghost living in a typewriter. So there is a writer who gets writer's block and he lays his eyes on this particular typewriter in Chicago and the typewriter sends itself to him, this young girl who also ends up at his door searching for a dog who was actually possessed by the ghost. So the ghost reveals himself to the writer in exchange for writing the novel that the writer will actually publish his novel. And then we go back to the past where the things that the ghost writer actually wants to write about are happening which is during the independence uh, era in korea um and i am a big sucker for independence freedom struggle kind of themes and this one delivered so well i mean you have the period pieces that are happening in the past so all of those sequences were beautifully shot and the ones in the present were also very very well done so i thoroughly enjoyed this drama and I highly recommend it for those of you who are looking for some mystery, some suspense, some supernatural things, as well as bits and pieces of wonderful period pieces. So definitely go check it out if you can. And come back tomorrow for another recommendation on 25 Days of K-Dramas. Bye!